name is Sergei Chorbana. 2007, I started learning roofing. In 2008, I decided that uh, I have to start on my own. I have to start my roofing company with uh, some suggestions. Uh, we decided to call our roofing company Roof It Right. And of course, the main policy is uh, to do it right. Is okay. this um, the warehouse here? Okay, this is warehouse, right? Um, Obviously, this is office and uh, a little storage. You... Being in uh, uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and then in uh, uh, Springfield, Illinois, when we moved over here, we got some uncertain feelings at the beginning that uh, uh, looks like uh, many houses uh, smaller, uh, smaller than in uh, those other places we used to live. Everything is small here. Yeah, it is, it is. I mean, that's the first impression when I just moved in, in Kentucky, in Louisville, from Oklahoma. Oh man, that's everything small, uh, including roofing jobs going to be small. And really, you know, my many first roofing jobs was like, 12, 15 squares, you know. <laughs> the first impression that uh, customer service is a little bit behind in uh, Kentucky. It's extreme demand that uh, homeowners are expecting to find some uh, customer oriented services, including in roofing. And I was feeling like uh, that's that's my niche. I need to satisfy that demand. Maybe part of it is the fact that Kentucky is not a licensed state for roofers. If you have a truck, you can be a roofer. So I got the truck. <laughs> yeah, this is just a uh, tool shop. We keep the tools and okay. supplies here that's supposed to stay warm. Running roofing business is uh, uh, it's definitely challenging, but it gives you even uh, more those tickle feelings that uh, you go in there and you're doing some dangerous work and uh, you helping to people to take care of such important thing as uh, roofing. Who can live without roof? Everybody needs roofing. Well, this is a big shop, mostly supplies if we need one buys for flat roof like tpo mostly we do tpo uh, firestone genflex we certify with genflex yeah. this thing is big how much does it weigh i don't even remember now so how does it work you take a piece of uh, metal and you know insert there you know make some uh, marks where you want to bend it and then you know lock it here I'll make <laughs> this is crazy i absolutely love metal roofing because i when you living on the metal roof you got absolutely different feelings metal roofing really protect you from uh uv rays they not uh, penetrate all the way through the same way like uh, they penetrate through the asphalt shingle roofing and of course it lasts much longer if on average the homeowners must replace the shingle roofs uh, between uh, 15 20 years uh, metal roof can last uh, if installed properly over 50 years up to even 100. Okay, this is uh, the city of Shelbyville building a conference center and uh, a general contractor hired us for roofing, siding, gutters, lower screens, uh, ACM panels, uh, which they call rain screens, and um, uh, snow guards. So I think it's something in, in our, Russian uh, roofers blood. I see we dominate the market in the United States. A lot of Russians involved in metal roofing because, uh, you know, in now harsh climate back in Russia, we got a lot of metal roofing. And for some reason, even it's uh, cheaper in Russia than uh, uh, asphalt shingles. <laughs> Some accessories for flat roofs, for gutters. You do a lot of gutters? We did a lot of gutters, but mm -hmm. I'm trying to make a shift from, uh, you know, what we especially good for, for the homeowners to help them to process the claim 
with the proper compensation instead you know settle with the cheap estimate that insurance companies come up with but insurance companies are not the enemy but they're also not your friend <laughs> <laughs> working uh, with insurance companies here in uh, Kentucky is a bit challenging and I think mostly because uh, it's not uh, regulated by code the local authorities uh, not really enforcing certain uh, codes that uh, must be for the homeowner protection uh, like one of them I can uh, mention right away because it's just uh, something that the entire country faced uh, just a month ago, ice storm. Uh, we got such an ice storm that uh, uh, many roofs failed. But we found a way how to assist our customers here, how to help them to uh, communicate all that uh, items with the insurance carriers. And we do see uh, a certain measure of success and uh, we uh, we feel like we accomplished something. So you have uh, OSHA in Russian here. How many Russian employees do you have? Maybe six. We translate OSHA 10 in Russian for them so they can uh, know what's, uh, what they need to comply with. Okay. So this is uh, your area of coverage? We're here now? Yeah, we're here. Yeah. Okay. This is easy. This is easy. This is a big enough uh, city to provide enough business and it doesn't really overcome. You don't have traffic. Yeah. Any company is challenging because sometimes, you know, you dealing not just with uh, shingles, you're dealing with people on a daily ba base. You're dealing with uh, codes and regulations, uh, with uh, taxes and uh, insurances. Uh, uh, marketing it come on you from so many angles and uh, uh, when you figure one thing after another thing and you have a feeling of accomplishment today he is working on this project which is police department yeah Sh Shelbyville police department how did you get this job uh, well we intentionally started to beat on uh, uh, any public work that all general contractors beating on the general contractor who won the beat on this project uh, discovered that uh, we are most affordable uh, roofing for metal roofing while police protecting and serve russian roofers put a roof on their buildings and uh, back in russia in our terminology if you provide roofing for somebody means that you uh, give them some mob shelter <laughs> if this is the american dream i mean to uh, own the business to have a home to have a family i'm not against hard work i agree that hard work brings satisfaction uh, too Maybe I'm a bit unbalanced. Maybe I'm working just a little bit too much. Uh, this is the American dream. Yeah, I am in there. <laughs> to everybody who watching this video, if you're gonna roof it, roof it right. What's up subscribers and random visitors? Me and my videographer absolutely loved our trip to Kentucky. We learned a lot about whiskeys and bourbons. And we have this collection bottle here given to us by Sergey and his team. And I don't need it in my collection, so I wanna give it away to one of you. All you have to do is to be a subscriber to this awesome channel and comment something funny in comments below something sarcastic or maybe just a compliment to this awesome company sergey is very impressive i love hearing immigrant story obviously russian immigrant story is close to my heart i can relate to a lot of things so this collection bottle will go to the funniest or more sarcastic best comment below we're gonna pick it in about a week so good luck give it a like subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next video